What's up Rebels, it is Chunky Monkey 40 here. Welcome to the new and improved ChunkyMonkey40.com. Today I'm gonna give you a tour of the updated website for 2023. There's a lot of new things on the website and I'm very, very excited about it. So if you wanna go check it out, it's linked at the top of the description, ChunkyMonkey40.com. First, let's start off with going over the homepage. So on the homepage, we've got several different options that are brand new. So this one's been around for a while, Shop Chunky Monkey 40. If you click this photo, this is where you will find all my different YouTube merchandise, including the Stay Rebel t-shirts, the Orange Cars Matter t-shirts, Chunky Monkey 40 stickers, I'm horny stickers, I generally don't give a fuck, Orange Cars Matter stickers, I generally don't give a fuck, koozies, we got Orange Cars Matter posters, Up Church pencil sketches by me, and Kid Rock drawings as well. These are both poster prints, they aren't the originals of course. And at the top here we've got my brand ambassador link for high class white trash, so you give the this a click and it'll open up hcwhitetrash.com. This again is my brand ambassador link where you could shop all high class white trash merchandise. They've got tons of awesome stuff. Like look at these hats they got. I wear this stuff a lot of times in my videos and it's very high quality merchandise. I highly recommend you go check it out. I actually got this license plate on the front of Traveler nowadays. But anyways, let's go back to the homepage. So to go back to the homepage from a shop page, you just click where it says Chunky Monkey 40 or you click my logo and it'll take you right back here. Let's continue going down the homepage. So we've got Shop 164th Diecast Cars. Here's where you'll find all the different 164th diecasts that I have available. And then right here, you'll find all the Funko Pops that I have available on the website. And also, I'll be adding new stuff to the website all the time. I'm gonna try and make it about once a month, but it could be a little bit sooner than that sometimes. Whenever I get stuff done and ready to get uploaded to the website, I'll be putting new stuff up. So continue to check back on here for some new merchandise. There's always gonna be something cool and new. Right here, you'll be able to watch my most recent video. My most recent one being the hunt for the Fairly Odd Parents Funko Pops. If you want to watch this on YouTube, you just simply click right here and it'll open up YouTube. It'll do that on the phone as well. It'll open the YouTube app. And then if you want to learn more about my content, this is just an updated version. I've had uh, the Kid Rock category and the Dukes of Hazard category on here for a while, but the Traveler category is new. The Traveler series was the series that I did on my YouTube channel where I traveled all around the country in 28 days. I pretty much went everywhere you could imagine uh, I would want to go. Like I went to the Northeast Ohio Dukes. And this, this video is pretty cool, the grilling at Walmart. I showed off my setup in the bed of my truck. For those of you guys who might not know, when I filmed all these different Traveler videos, I was sleeping in the bed of my truck every night. <laughs> like Philadelphia, New York City. Uh, these ones I actually stayed at my buddy Joe's who is actually getting married next month. That'll be a vlog coming soon probably. Washington DC, I went to the swamp and got of course stuck in a storm. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. You know, Cooter's Place in Luray, the Boar's Nest. Uh, I did a showcase of the Silver General Lee. Then everyone's favorite video, the Dukes of Hazard filming locations, showed off a buddy of mine's garage, and then we also went to the Smoking the Bandit filming locations. That was the Traveler series. All of that is explained in these different paragraphs. I figured this would be something kind of cool to kind of put together a selection of all the different stuff that happened on the Traveler series and tell a couple stories that didn't necessarily make the video. And if you want to watch the Traveler series, you just simply click the Traveler logo and it'll take you straight to YouTube so that you can watch whatever video you want to. Or you can select play all and you can watch them all. <laughs> yeah, and then there's also pages about my Dukes of Hazard content and my Kid Rock content that I've done. So if you want to check that stuff out, visit ChunkyMonkey40.com to read more. And then if you want to follow me on Instagram, this on the mobile will open up the Instagram app and then you can give me a follow. Definitely I would recommend following me on Instagram because I'm always posting different stuff. All right, let's get into the store pages. So let's start with the 164th diecast cars. Oh, I should probably mention too, if you wanna search anything on the website, there's a search bar at the top. So you could search, say, Dukes, and it'll pull up anything and everything Dukes of Hazard related. And then you could search all Dukes, and it'll open up the search results page, and everything will pop up right here. 
All right, let's go back to 164th Diecast Cars. So, on here, there's a lot of different collectible cars from Johnny Lightning, Green Light, and Hot Wheels. A lot of it is more movie car related. Uh, at the top, I have some Dukes of Hazard cars. Starting from the top, we've got Cooter's 1970 Chevy Camaro. This is part of the first release of the Johnny Lightning cars. Let's actually click this one. I've had these Johnny Lightning Dukes cars for a few years now, and uh, you know, now it's just time to find them a different home. I'm running out of space in my studio for all this stuff, so I gotta find somewhere to put it. Then let's go back to shop diecast cars. Then we've got Uncle Jesse's Black Tilly 2, his 67 Ford Mustang. This was used in Season 2, Episode 1, Days of Shine and Roses. And this 67 Ford Mustang is part of the fourth release of the Johnny Lightning Dukes of Hazard collector cars. Let's go back. And then right here we've got Cooter's Tow Truck. This is one of the more rare ones of the Johnny Lightning releases. This is a release five car. And this one is one of the most sought after. This one and the Ghost of the General Lee Johnny Lightning cars. So you go to add to cart and it'll load you straight to your cart page. And then on here you can enter the promo code that you see on your screen, save. 10. And that is my birthday gift to you guys. Even though it's my birthday, I should be the one getting gifts, but <laughs> I figured I'd give everyone a little bit of a discount code for the new website. This code lasts until September 2nd, so if you want to go get yourself some stuff on the website, use code SAVE10 and you'll get 10% off. <laughs> I have my delivery set to Costa Rica because I was testing the, uh, the international shipping. I wanted to see how much it would uh, be because I've had a few issues in the past with, you know, I'd send something internationally to a country and it'd be free shipping and I'm like, fuck. Not a lot of these Johnny Lightning Cooter tow trucks pop up, so if you want to get yourself one, get it while supplies last. Then we also got the uh, 1977 Dodge Monaco. This is part of the Release 4, and this is the State Police car from the Dukes of Hazard. Continuing on with Johnny Lightning, we've got, this is the Zingers 2-pack. This 2-pack consists of a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, and we of course got a 1969 Dodge Charger RT, and yes, it is orange. Right now, spoiler alert, there are no General Lees on the website yet. But, I am working on a YouTube series called Chunky's Customs, where I will be making custom General Lees, and all of those will be loaded on the website as soon as the series is released. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, everything on this website is going to be gone and interchanging just about every week to every month. I'll be taking off items and adding new items on as they sell and as I get new ones. Right here we've got Wayne's World's 1976 AMC Pacer. This is the first release for the Trivial Pursuit series by Johnny Lightning. And while we're still on the Johnny Lightning cars, we've got the No Time to Die James Bond car. This is the Aston Martin DB5. It's got bullet holes. Let's actually click on it. This thing is honestly a piece of art, like seriously. It's got a lot of detail to it. Look at the scratches down the side, and then it's got bullet holes in it, just like I had in the movie. I think that's pretty awesome. Still in the package, package is mint condition. All the packages except for one Funko Pop, but besides that one Funko Pop, all the packages are in mint condition. Then we got some green lights on here. This one is a uh, running on empty 1962 Dodge D100. This is the Red Crown gasoline themed one. And we got a Battalion 64 1984 Chevrolet CUCV. That's pretty cool green light with the two machine guns in the back. I love that. Then we got a Thelma and Louise car. We've got the 1984 Dodge Diplomat Taxi. I love the package on the Thelma and Louise car. I think that is awesome. That's mainly what drew me to it, was just the package alone. I was like, damn, that's sweet. We got a Smokey Bear 1995 Ford F-250. This is part of the first series of the Smokey Bear cars by Greenlight. And we got a Norman Rockwell Series 4 1962 Dodge D200. I love that red, white, and blue livery. I think that's badass. And then we got, uh, I believe his name was Hugo who drove this on Lost. This is his uh, 1971 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. It's the dirty version. And then we've got Biff's Back to the Future Ford Super Deluxe. This is when he slid into the manure truck and his badass convertible was uh, kind of filled with shit. 
<laughs> this is the only way I know how to put it. We got the Flintmobile from the Flintstones. That's an older Hot Wheels Premium. And we've also got the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. Gotta love that one. We've got the Batmobile from the Batman movie. I believe this movie was released in 2022. And actually, I also believe that this Batmobile was built out of a, uh, you know, 68, 69, or 70 Dodge Charger. I don't quite know which one. If you know, let me know in the comments. I'm honestly curious. And then we've got this Hot Wheels kit concept car. Kit is, of course, the very sassy car from Knight Rider, <laughs> and this is a cool kit concept. And then we've got this Hot Wheels 1970 Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. This comes from Furious 7. Uh, this is a Series 1 car, number 7 out of 10. Car's badass too, I love the black and red. It was kind of hard to get a photo of it when I was taking these product photos. Just because it was so dark and like even as much light as I put on it, it either created just a huge reflection or you couldn't see the car. <laughs> There was really no in-between, so that was the best picture I could get of it, but anywho, you could see it on the package. And then we've got the Ice Charger from Fast and Furious. This is from The Fate of the Furious. And I actually got to see this car when I went and saw the Stand Up General out in Volo, Illinois. I got to see the real Ice Charger from The Fate of the Furious. This is, I believe, Furious 8, so that's pretty cool. Now back to the homepage. Our last category that we're going to go over is the Funko Pops. And when it opens up, you'll be greeted with the Fairly Odd Parents 3-pack. I know if you guys saw the hunt video, I wasn't going to sell these originally, but I figured I'd give other people a chance to get some. Because I know Meyer is an exclusive to the Midwest, and they are pretty hard to get. So if you'd like to get yourself one, they're on my website. And again, you could also save 10% on this. You could Let's see how much you could save on it. So if you use code SAVE10, then you'll save $8.50. And we got Dale Earnhardt as a Funko Pop. Everybody loves Dale Earnhardt Sr. One of the saddest deaths in NASCAR history. We got Eagly from Peacemaker. That's a pretty cool Funko Pop. I mean, I, I don't even know the show Peacemaker. I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it, but I bought it because I was like, damn, that's a bald eagle holding an American flag. That's badass. Then we've got Shawn Michaels. This was a GameStop exclusive for the WWE series, and it actually includes a SummerSlam pin, which I think is pretty neat here let's uh let's click on it you get a better look at it you can sort of see the pin in there the wwe survivor series continuing on down the list we've got pulse malone this is part of the funko pop rock series this is pulse malone your knight in shining armor as some would say i've always thought that was a pretty cool funko and then we've got fred flintstone this is him he's an ad icon for the fruity pebbles and he's actually holding a bowl of fruity pebbles i think that's pretty neat and then also in the ad icon series we've got the polaroid camera this this was a 2022 New York City Comic Con exclusive. Now we've got a lot of Stranger Things Funko Pops. Let's start from the top. This is Robin, Steve, and Vecna. This was a Walmart exclusive three pack. And so that's up there. We've got Argyle. He was the uh, Pizza Boy character in season four. Then we've got Erica from season four. Mike from season four. And then we've got Brenner, also known as Papa in the series. I honestly hated this guy. <laughs> he pissed me off so much every time I'd watch those episodes with him he was just creepy man yeah i've got him up there and then this is a season four release of 11 with egos this was a walmart exclusive and then lastly this is the only damaged product on the store this is mike from stranger things you can see the box has a little bit of damage right up here yeah, it's just a damaged corner up here and down here on this box. But yeah, that concludes everything that is available on the website right now. Like I said, I will be adding new stuff to the website as the days and weeks and months go on. I'm a huge collector of diecast cars and Funko Pops, and so as stuff sells, I'll put new stuff up on the site. And again, general leads are coming soon to the website alongside, I didn't say this earlier, but I will be trying to get my hands on some Smoking the Bandit Funko Pops pops so that then I can get those up on the site as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Go check out ChunkyMonkey40.com to go and get yourself some pretty cool collectibles and Chunky Monkey 40 merchandise. Now with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube and ChunkyMonkey40.com. As the shirt says right here, stay rebel y'all. Just some good old boys. Never need